Hey, how's it going guys? So recently I put a message on Instagram asking people to ask me a question which they would like me to answer. And one of the questions which was asked of me was about mindset. Asking me how do I keep a positive mindset. So I think um, with regards to mindset, it comes down to experience. I think what's important to let you know is that I haven't always had a positive mindset. When I was a lot younger, I went through a lot of things which taught me to become a stronger person. I used to be pretty negative because the people that I used to hang around with were quite negative as well. So it was about my circle that I had at the time. A lot of my friends were involved in crime so lots of robberies, people getting stabbed, burglary. A lot of my friends done time in prison. I was lucky enough that I didn't actually spend time in prison, but um, if I stayed in that circle, then that possibly could have happened. I think because of the things that I had been witness to and been involved in, it helped me to realize where I was in life and where I needed to be. I understood that what I was going through was, wasn't a thing that I wanted to stay into. Also, when you are in a household which is poverty stricken, sometimes it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see things in a very telephoto way, not really wide angle. I was going through some tough times when I was younger, financially. Um, I've written on social media many times where I had come home sometimes and there was like no electricity in the house, for instance. Living in a modern society where it's pretty typical and expected of you to have electricity in your house, I was one of those people where my electric meter would run out, there'd be no money in the household where we didn't have electricity. Sometimes we'd run out of gas as well and it was just something I just had to deal with. When you have an upbringing like that, it does make you appreciate the little things that come in your life. I remember the first time I moved out, just having that initial freedom, that was amazing. My dad, he was, he was, he was a good guy. He had many flaws, but he did teach me a lot of things. But it was a struggle to deal with his mental torture that he used to give me. He used to make me feel very inadequate. I had extremely bad self-esteem. I had no self-esteem, in fact. I think I might have been on the verge of stuttering when speaking. I wasn't able to project myself properly. My English was really bad in terms of written communication. Uh, speaking, I wasn't too bad, but still, I was very nervous. Maths, anything to do with maths, um, algebra, it was just, it was a complete nightmare. So in school, to say I was shy was an understatement. I wasn't really able to communicate effectively because I felt so insecure about myself. I think the moment I left school and I started to experience the world, that was when things started to make a bit of a turn for me. I wouldn't say it was an automatic turn, but life experiences taught me that it wasn't necessarily about education that will make you successful in life. I have a lot of friends who are extremely highly educated that could definitely be in a better position. When I was 17 years old, I remember sitting in my house thinking to myself, I'm unhappy, I can't live this way anymore. My dad used to say certain things to me to make me feel like I wanted to kill myself. So yeah, I was suicidal a couple of times that I actually end up running away from home. So I ran away from home, um, was living a little bit rough, but um, I then found a place where I could stay and from there I was able to kind of rebuild my life again. I started to learn more about me. What I would say to you is if you have somebody in your life who is controlling the way you feel or they 
are not really an influence to make you feel the right way, it can be a bit problematic if you want to grow as a person. I had this at home, but the moment I left, I was able to just open my wings and I was able to just think again, think the way I'm supposed to think. It allowed me to just work on my own personal development. I started to look into audiobooks and, um, or to be honest with you, I was always into audiobooks, but uh, I started to expand more into that, listening to a lot of audiobooks. I think the first audiobook that I got was from Brian Tracy. So I was able to progress and move forward the moment I started to listen to a lot more audiobooks. Experience itself, being thrown in the deep end and having to climb your way out of it and fortifying yourself, taking the information which you need in order to grow. So if you look on cereal boxes, well in UK it says fortified with vitamins and minerals. What it basically means is in the process of making it, it was stripped of all its nutrients and they have uh, almost synthetically added vitamins and minerals. So for yourself, because you are generally attacked by loads of things throughout the day, like when I say attacked, I mean like people coming to you and telling you their problems, you've got the news, you've got media, you just got a general society of people that follow everybody's feelings and they all just kind of have this big cloud over their head. You have to create your own little situation. You have to create your own vision, your own understanding of the world. And once you start to do this, it allows you to feel so much better in a cloudy or turbulent situation. So this is what has allowed me to progress and move forward in life. Because for me to say that nothing has gone wrong would be a complete lie. So I have always understood if there is a problem, then the main thing for me to focus on is the solution. Don't focus on the problem. There's a saying which I think I've listened to from one of my audio books and it was, if you concentrate on the problem, then you won't see the solution. But if you concentrate on the solution, then you won't see the problem. So that's what I found has always worked for me. The moment a problem creeps into my life, it can be, it can feel very uncomfortable to the point where you, you don't eat and um, you can't sleep and, and sometimes you just can't communicate with people, even with the people that you love. So you have to fortify yourself, find all the goodness around you. If it's a good person, bring them into your life. Um, if it's uh, just positive energy, you know, if, it, if it's down to affirmations, then speak it. One thing I tend to do all the time when I wake up is I have at least five minutes to myself and I make a decision whether it is going to be just visualization. I will sit in my bed of five minutes of selected time and I'll close my eyes and I'll listen to like some yoga music or something. Some classical or yoga music or spa music, something really relaxing just to relax my mind, take deep, slow, controlled breaths. And, and that is it, for five minutes. And there's something about it, it's like it, it lifts your spirit or something. I, I don't know what it is, but I'll just suggest to do it. Um, so that's one of the things I do. Or um, I'll spend some time doing some, some affirmations. So I'll just tell myself of how great I am and uh, how grateful I am as well and how just, just talk about things in which I'm going to do to pursue my, my passion, my direction, my, 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 my goals, things like that. So find lots of things to talk about in order to push you forward, things to make you feel, all right, this is the track I should be following. This is the track, this is the direction I need to keep my eyes. But also what I'd like to do is I like to laugh. So there's times when I'll do an IG story and I'm talking about a situation which to many people might be considered as really serious. Like, oh my God, how did you just brush it off like that? And I think the reason why is because if I don't, 
then I will only upset myself. You're totally in control as to how you want to feel about something. So if something problematic comes in your direction, again, you can choose to make it a problem or a solution or make a solution for it. Now, one of the other things I do in the morning is watch some comedy. Uh, I like to laugh, so I think having a really good laugh is another way to create some really nice positive energy in your body. Doing those things there, really creating the right kind of environment for yourself is very important in order to move forward. But I think the ground, the ground root strength for me is always considering myself as blessed, especially when at some point I was pretty much homeless and I just, was, just went through some hard times at the beginning of my life. Um, I had a long-term relationship which uh, took a, a really big nosedive and sometimes it could really affect your emotions where you think to yourself, what am I gonna do with my life now? But then once you figure your way out, you can only get stronger. It just enables me to deal with things on, on so many levels. So never consider a problem in your life as something that is going to scar you. You can actually take that as something to give you real strength to move forward. To me, it's just amazing to think that somebody who was a nobody, who grew up in North London, um, who was a real outcast to the world, outcast among so many other people, to think that someone who had nothing at the beginning, to be in a position where I can speak to loads of different people from around the world, to give them the opportunity which I didn't have at the beginning, that again is a blessing because you can save someone the trouble of going through what you went through. There's uh, what I learned from, I think it was a guy called Peter Vug, a very great entrepreneur. He's got a, a book, an audio book called Six Months to Six Millions, I think. Um, he mentioned that rather than learning from your own experience, learn from other people's experience. It will save time. So that's something I definitely live by. I would suggest only take advice from people who, who actually have the experience. You have people who like to give advice on stuff which they know nothing about. If that's the case, don't listen to those people. In fact, don't hang around those sorts of people. Um, I think with these sort of elements which has come into my life, it's definitely enabled me to be a stronger person.